Welcome back to Animated Times, Joe Todd with you. Today we're going to talk about Wonder Woman's biggest weaknesses. With the release of Wonder Woman 1984, fans are buzzing with excitement for the return of Wonder Woman. We first met Wonder Woman, um, I mean uh, Diana Prince, in Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice. That's just a trash can. It's just a trash can. Yeah, yeah. She certainly left a mark with her appearance in the film, and her solo film Wonder Woman exceeded all expectations and became a commercial success. We can all agree that she's a cultural icon. An embodiment of female empowerment. As an influential feminist icon, there is very little Wonder Woman can do. However, given her history, and we all know how problematic history can be when it comes to women's rights, she has quite a few weaknesses. While some make sense, considering her status as a half-human, half-demigod, some are just silly, and then just outright sexist. The creators of her character just went all out with it, didn't they? If you don't think so yet, well, let's just say you will soon. Here are the top 10 weaknesses of Wonder Woman. Number 1. A Poke in the Eyes Yep, you heard it right. One poke to her eyes and you might actually be able to bring Wonder Woman down. Okay, I'll explain. Wonder Woman is essentially half-human. Although blessed with amazing, heroic abilities, she's still physically human. Obviously, that leaves her vulnerable to weaknesses. An average person might have a poke in the eye. If you've ever been poked in the eye, you know what I'm talking about. Since Wonder Woman has amazing speed and strength, it'll be quite a feat to actually successfully poke her. It would take someone as fast as The Flash or Superman to be able to pull off something like that and either temporarily or permanently blind her. Here's hoping that actually doesn't happen. Number 2. Her Own Lasso Wonder Woman's lasso is one of the most iconic parts of her character, and to see her without it is extremely rare. The lasso is known to be kind of a truth serum, forcing the person trapped in its grip to speak the truth, and only getting painful the more he resists. We all saw what happened to poor Steve Trevor. However, it turns out Wonder Woman herself has been a victim of the lasso. Clearly, someone forcing the truth out of her wouldn't have sat well with her. But it seems as if she's just carrying around a gun that has an equal chance of being used on her as well. Number 3. Her Own Bracelets Every time you see Wonder Woman in action, she's used her bracelets to repel objects from bullets to people themselves, and well, even Ares. So there's no doubt it's a very powerful part of her. However, it turns out they're just power inhibitors and they actually dampen her powers. Yeah, so Diana's way more powerful than we think she is. Without her bracelet, her powers grow in an uncontrollable way, and there might actually be no one who can stop her. Her bracelets may actually be her weakness during battle. Number four, lost or damaged bracelets. There's a lot more to her bracelets, actually. While they're a weakness when compared to her powers, they actually allow her to channel her powers. Without the bracelet, she'd be uncontrollable, even to herself. As with her increased power, she gets increasingly angry as well. So imagine this, an uncontrollable, rage-filled Wonder Woman with unlimited power and nobody to stop her. Can you imagine? I can't. So it's safe to say that these bracelets keep her in check. Number 5. Scarecrow Gas the Scarecrow's fear gas brings out one's darkest fears, causing the person who inhales it to hallucinate things that they fear the most. Diana has already been a victim of this fear gas, considering that she's half-human. So while Diana may be invincible during battle with her increased speed and strength, she better look out for Scarecrow's fear gas. Number 6. Her Secluded Upbringing We all know Wonder Woman grew up on the isolated island of Themyscira and remained pretty oblivious about the happenings in the rest of the world, and when she left the island with Steve Trevor, it would undoubtedly make it difficult for her to relate with the way humans live and with her superpowers, normal human beings may seem silly to her. Her solution for someone being late for work would probably be telling them to go faster. It creates a gap between her and the people she tries to protect. And if you don't understand the people you have to save, how exactly can you save them? Number 7. Her Own Organs Diana may be a half-goddess, but that doesn't mean she's entirely invincible. Her healing factors work wonders, of course, but then again, her internal makeup is still human, and any damage to a vital organ can still affect her. There has been a previous incident she suffered internal bleeding from an attack, which can always lead to trauma or slow death. Every time Wonder Woman goes into battle, there's a dreaded possibility that someone may successfully pierce an arrow through her heart and killing her in an instant. It's a bit scary to think about, and yet completely realistic. Number 8. Bind of Veils The Bind of Veils was an old Greek relic that was used by the Joker to trick Wonder Woman. I mean, who else would have such nasty tricks up their sleeves? She ended up being in a mind-controlled state where she was led to believe she killed Batman. Obviously, considering the partnership they formed through Batman vs Superman and Justice League, there's no doubt having his death on her conscience would lead to a disastrous effects. 
and that's exactly what Joker wanted. Maybe the Bind of Veils can be considered as Wonder Woman's kryptonite. Number 9. Superman If there's one superhero who could match Wonder Woman, it's definitely Superman. As we've seen in Justice League, his increased speed and strength successfully helped him stop her right before she used her bracelets on him. Superman easily overpowered Wonder Woman, and there's no doubt he can match her in every single way. Number 10. Having her hands tied by a man This is definitely the most ridiculous weakness of Wonder Woman. William Marston created Wonder Woman according to his perception of women, and apparently during those days, bondage played a key element in healthy relationships. So naturally, the next best thing to do would be have Wonder Woman's weakness be having her hands tied by a man. As long as the man tied her hands, no magic, nothing, just a man, Wonder Woman is powerless. If that doesn't scream sexist, I don't know what does. Well, we at Animated Times are definitely not sexist, and we do love our Wonder Woman. So if you love Wonder Woman, hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content from Animated Times.